So a few months ago, I decided I needed to make extra money. I looked at many different side hustles, none of them were really for me, until I stumbled across Amazon FBA. So in this video, I'm gonna give you a brief overview of Amazon FBA, what I've been through the last two months, and at the end of the video, I'm gonna show you exactly how much I've earned through doing Amazon FBA. So Amazon FBA is essentially buying products and then sending them to Amazon so Amazon can then sell those products and then you make profits on those items. The difficult thing though, is finding those items to then send into Amazon because you can't just send in any old item because Amazon's fees are so high with what they charge, packaging, storage fees, all those things. You've got to find things that are ridiculously low priced and very highly priced essentially on Amazon. So step one is you need to become a sole trader. Step two is sign up to Amazon Seller Central. The subscription is 30 pounds a month, but if you don't have anything in your inventory, then you don't pay that 30 pounds. You only pay when you've got things in Amazon. And I gotta be honest, you're gonna be spending a lot of subscription fees for the things, the software that you need to actually find profitable products. So Selleramp is gonna be your main tool of finding pro profitable products. And essentially what it does is it finds that product on Amazon and it shows you the minimum cost price what it's selling for at the moment and it also gives you a graph which is a keeper graph straight from keeper which will tell you whether the item is worth buying the next bit of software and i didn't start using this until about four or five weeks into selling on amazon and that is seller toolkit so what seller toolkit is is it's a software and a website where it extracts loads of information from seller central and it presents it in a more user-friendly way that's, that's how I like to describe it. It's got all these components and all these things that allows you to see the information of orders, of returns, of refunds in a much more clear way. So yeah, this having this and seeing it like this in this sort of visual really makes me want to try harder the, the next month. So the next subscription is a Discord server. There's a lot of Discord servers about and it's just basically finding the one that's right for you. So I joined a Discord that was 50 pounds a month, but I've recently just left it and joined another one because the one I was in, it was, you know, they, they posted really good leads, things that you could get profits on, but obviously when they're posting it into a group with over 600 members, then those listings then become incredibly saturated and the price just drops because everyone's battling for the best price. So I've just joined one that's 69 pounds a month. They got so many, videos that you can go through step-by-step -step videos they're like an hour long or most of them so i'm about to go and do a bit of retail arbitrage now so hopefully i can find something to put in this video but if not that's just the way it goes like you're never going to find stuff all the time with retail arbitrage it's a bit time consuming like if you were if you were if you've got a full-time job i would recommend sticking to online arbitrage or amazon to amazon but if you're just out and about and you're passing a shop, there's there's no harm in just going in and just having a, having a quick look to see what's there. So that's what I'm doing now. So yeah, I'm gonna go into the shops and see if I can find anything. So I've left the shops empty handed, but I think it's important to go through the things that I did scan. So the first one is this keratin 10 in one miracle treatment. And the only reason I left this is because it sells 21 times a month and there's only one of them. In hindsight, I really should have picked this up because it's, you know, £6.43 profit, but I left it there. Don't know why I left it there. I should have picked it up. Next one is this Label M Volume Mousse. Now, this is an aerosol, which is a dangerous goods, which when you, when you do your shipment list on Amazon and send stuff off through Amazon, you can't send dangerous goods through UPS um, using Amazon with a discounted rates. So you have to do it separately, which costs more. So yeah, I left this there for that. And I also know that I'm gated on label M. When you're gated on stuff, it basically means that you haven't got authorization to sell it. And there's different ways to ungate. The main one being sending an invoice, sending an invoice into Amazon that you've bought 10 units of that brand of but i can go into gating and ungating in future videos i left this one tan looks the water 100 mil just because um I, I was gated on it it's got a low bsr so basically means that it's not high up the the search list the search um on amazon so not many people are buying it basically and as that kind of shows in the estimated sales 17 a month um academy bronze express tanning lotion again gated and only sells eight times a month and a low bsr rank nivea 
Now I, I stay I stay clear of Nivea because I'm not I'm gated obviously, but a few times like in in other Discord groups people have said that I had issues with Nivea, like Nivea have like shut down the listings and stuff. So yeah, I left I left that. I don't really know why I scanned it, but I, just, I was just curious. So the reality of doing Amazon when you live in a quite small house is a lot of the time oh, things just get stored up. So these are, these arrived yesterday. And yeah, I think I ordered too much, but it sells quite well on Amazon. And I've gotten really, I've gotten a lot better at finding stuff now, which is, I'm happy with. So I, just, I know that it's not much of a risk buying all that stock, but yeah, that's getting sent off tomorrow. It's Sunday night tonight. So I'm gonna be spending all evening now. This is, this is just the reality of it. Like I'm gonna spend all evening now putting stickers on 160 units, boxing it up, labeling, everything like that, getting it ready for pick up tomorrow and yeah I'll show, I, can, I can show you a few things so there's a few things there that I got Amazon to Amazon so it's when the price drops on Amazon and you basically just get it for the low price and then you send it back in at the at the high price that everyone else is selling it for and then yeah I've got some stuff up there which is from online but I'm not going to show you those downstairs was online as well I'm really I'm really getting used to using Keeper like Keeper is like I've been watching loads and loads of videos on it but yeah it's now time to show you how much I've earned from Amazon so far so over 60 days I have earned £980.96 profit on sales that's a 24% ROI which is okay like I've had, I've had quite higher ROI on a lot of things but I've had to get rid of loads of stock that just they were really bad buyers I shouldn't have bought them and I ended up losing money on a few of those things but all in all 24% ROI for the first 60 days I don't think it's too bad obviously taken away now like subscription fees of all of all the subscriptions I've got I would say that I've roughly earned about 700 quid 650 700 quid however I have not seen that money at all just because when I've earned it it's just gone straight back into stock and it's gone straight back into Amazon so I haven't actually seen like that 650 700 quid to be honest with you I'm gonna keep it going like I'm really enjoying it it's nice it's nice to kind of apply myself to to something that is actually like you can see you can see it like every day you're seeing it sort of ticking away and making money and the numbers are kind of up and down and stuff it's, it's really interesting so I can I can understand why people quit early on because it's a long process to get started it's a lot to learn like I'm still learning as well like I'm in my third month now and I'm still learning loads I feel like I feel like I'm still wet behind the ears to be honest but yeah if you want me to make more Amazon FBA videos like I'm more than happy to do so obviously I'm still very much a novice like but I think seeing videos like that and someone who is Gen genuinely starting from scratch. The Amazon sellers that have been doing it for years and years and years, you know, on TikTok and YouTube and stuff, like a lot of their, a lot of the jargon kind of gets lost because they're kind of, they, obviously they know the business inside and out, but to people like me, to people like people who are starting, it's quite hard to understand. Like the, the amount of videos I watched and it was quite hard to grasp, like it was quite hard to understand, but I needed someone to kind of sit down with me and just go through it like bit by bit. But yeah, thanks for watching and catch you next one.